All right, today we're looking at a Vietnam era sateen shirt. Not a shirt worn in Vietnam, but Vietnam era. And right off we just see this is a shirt that's got your standard uh, sergeant's rank on the sleeves. I see this gentleman was in the uh, second infantry division. And what makes this shirt a little more unique, a little more interesting, is this pocket patch down here. And we see it has the same uh, chief's head, signifying the uh, second infantry. But we also see that it says M Imgen Scouts. And I hope I've pronounced that right. I believe that's the correct pronunciation. But what that was, it was a uh, patch from 1965 to 1967 that you would receive after graduating from the Advanced Combat Training Academy in South Korea. And what it was, was a 262-hour training course. Uh, some people have said it was very similar to the Rakondo School in Vietnam. Certainly not an easy uh, class to complete. And it was about teaching you uh, reconnaissance tactics in the DMZ. Uh, most people were uh, concentrating on Southeast Asia and Vietnam in the mid 60s but certainly in the DMZ uh, dealing with the uh, North Koreans it was certainly still a hot zone there were a lot of uh, soldiers that were awarded the combat infantry badge for uh, taking uh, missions in the DMZ but what makes this patch the Imgen Scout patch was something that was awarded to soldiers from 1965 to the early 90s. But the way that we can tell that this one is somewhere between 1965 and 1967 is it doesn't say DMZ at the bottom of the patch. And that's how we know because in that first two years from 65 to 67, this was the patch that they awarded and you could only receive it by graduating from the Advanced Combat Training Academy. Somewhere in 1967 to the early 90s, it became uh, more of, I think, it, you had to have completed 20 missions within the DMZ, but you did not have to have completed the 262-hour uh, Advanced Combat Training Academy school. So certainly a lot less common to see the patch without the DMZ at the bottom and we can we can probably reach the conclusion that this was somebody that certainly stationed in the DMZ had completed the course and we know it was between 1965 and 1967 so just a simple little video on a uh, lesser known patch certainly Something that gets overlooked because of people concentrating more on what was happening in Vietnam. But certainly uh, Korea at that point in the mid-60s, certainly still a hot zone for combat. I hope you've enjoyed the short video. I encourage you to check out some of the other videos I've got uploaded. And also encourage you to go ahead and subscribe so you can receive uh, notice when new videos are posted up. And thanks for watching.